Hello, this is the Wild Watch Winter Special. Uh, my name is Julia Newth and I work in the Conservation Department here at Slimbridge. And I'm going to today bring you the latest news on Buick Swan Conservation. So here I am at Slimbridge Wetland Centre and this behind me is the Rushy Lake which is the main roost site for the Buick swans that come and spend the winter here every year. These birds are absolutely incredible. They are endurance flyers in a way. They've flown all the way from the Russian Arctic 2,500 miles away to join us here at Slimbridge. Now we're very privileged to host the Buick Swan at Slimbridge and also at our wetland centre at Welney because they're actually endangered in Europe and they're endangered because the Northwest European population has been declining since the mid-1990s, nearly 38% decline during that time. And the birds actually face a number of threats along their whole migration route, including illegal shooting, collision with power lines and habitat loss. Now you might remember a few years ago, Sasha Dench flew by paramotor the entire length of the Buick Swan migration with the primary aim of really trying to uncover what was driving the decline of the population and the threats they face along the way. One of the issues that Sasha found and has been supported by our studies here at Slimbridge was that the swans are prone to illegal hunting. They're fully protected across their flyway but unfortunately they are still shot at. And the flight of the swans really helped motivate and instigate a community-led initiative to reduce illegal hunting in the Russian Arctic, which we're now taking forward today. Though we know illegal shooting is an issue for the Buick swan, because a third of the swans that come here to Slimbridge, when we x-ray them, are actually carrying shot embedded in their bodies. The Swan Champions are a collective of people based up in the Nanette's Autonomous Okrug, which is the key area for the Buick swans breeding in the summer. And this group of people have come together to try and reduce illegal hunting through an awareness campaign. And these are people that represent the indigenous communities, they represent hunters, teachers, and also the local governments, reflecting really a broad range of society that's living up there. There's been a number of activities that they've rolled out really successfully. There's more resources now for hunters with leaflets, really clearly telling hunters which species must not be shot and that they are protected because we have found from our social surveys that 18% of hunters there are just simply not aware that the Buick swans are protected. So there's some important knowledge gaps to fill. We also have some fantastic engagement work going on with an Annette's Museum based in Nariamar rolling out a travelling swan exhibition which will in February travel to eight remote communities uh, across the region. And all of these things will really help raise the profile of Buick swans and their important wetland habitats in this region. So on the weekend of the 11th and 12th of January, hundreds of swan enthusiasts will be heading out to the fields right the way across Northwest Europe with the primary aim of counting Buick swans. And this is really to have a little check, a little snapshot on the health of the population. Are the swans still declining? Has the decline leveled off? Or has there been an improvement in the status of the population? If you want to learn more about the Buick swans and come and see them for yourselves here at Slimbridge, then head to the Slimbridge Wetlands Centre on the 18th and the 19th of January where there will be a special showing of the Flight of the Swans film. Here at Slimbridge, we recognise each individual Buick swan that visits by its unique black and yellow bill pattern. And this is part of a long running study that's been running since the 1960s and was initiated by WWT's founder, Sir Peter Scott. If you'd like to hear more about the comings and goings of certain individual characters that are visiting us this Slimbridge, all you need to do is log on to the WWT website and check out our Swan News page.